That clip helped everyone out. I hope it did. Because if it didn't, you gotta help yourself out. I'm gonna act as if everything is normal and uh, we're just gonna get along with the, the regular scheduling of the program. Good evening. Welcome back to In The Code. This is August 2nd, 2022. No, today is not a terribly tired day. Today is actually a surprisingly refreshing day because I will get to that because I woke up at 10 today. Bruh. Yeah, I understand. For me, waking up early and just showing up has been so important and so powerful in whatever I've been able to do tremendously, just showing up to the morning. But having said that, if I am consciously taking, like I woke up at 5.30, but I consciously took the decision to go and sleep because I was feeling almost like nauseatic. And I could have pushed on and continued staying up. That was quite possible because everyone was up, Snowy was up, like anticipating uh, me to get ready and take him down. But I went the opposite route and I don't frankly regret it because it was a very conscious decision. And once in a while, it's it's okay. It's acceptable to do that. It shouldn't become a habit. Like tomorrow morning, I need to get back to the 5.30 grill drill. Uh, surprisingly, after I wake up at 10, unusually, I took him down 11.30, but we didn't have any poop. And so today's been a day without poop for Snowy, and that's, that's very hurtful. I think uh, the major thing that I achieved today specifically was watched Heron's video on how to set up Corsair keyboard to use macros. One very significant thing that is that if you just do Heron's method exactly verbatim, you're going to end up with the keyboard being just a secondary keyboard. If you just take that script and pass it through the IQ software's profile, uh, for some reason for me that wasn't even working, but uh, if you just do that, your know, keyboard is going to be just a secondary keyboard. And I obviously don't want that to be the case. I want this to be my primary keyboard and have G1, G2, G3, G4, G5, which I will just check if I'm, yeah. I just want these to be my macros. Maybe, yeah, even these to be my macros. So that was one big achievement I did today is that I figured out how to do that. 158 took a while to figure, but finally being able to access G1, G6 keys on the keyboard. And I can even show you because that script is playing. So if I press G1, it's a message box, you press G1, G2, you press G2, G3, G4, G5, G6, and even these can be mapped. So this is currently just showing you press the key. The point being that I have finally mapped G1 through G6 into F13 to F18. This is F19, 20, 21, 22. So I have what, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 more macro keys that I can now easily assign to a function or a script or anything inside auto hotkey. And this is not something which was shown in Taran's video as precisely as I would want to know. So basically the process is like you have a profile you set up, you can set up multiple profiles here depending on which software you plan to use it in. So I have currently one default profile called F13 to F24. Over here you just add key assign so you click on plus and then inside here you say keyboard and then here you press whatever key you want to map to and from here you choose whatever you want to map it to so i have mapped f13 which is which is this one to my g1 key that way and so on and this app is beautiful the iq app is like so so customizable there is literally nothing that you can't customize here to the extent that you can even Why am I not able to use the keyboard? Hardware lighting. You can adjust the opacity here. So in presets they have watercolor and then you get the chance to change this. I don't know how strong it's coming in with the overhead light, but you have color pulse, which I think when you type changes, color shift, color wave. I just want a static color with a particular opacity so like I'd, I'd rather keep it at zero and whenever i need it i can change it like if i let's say i wanted red i can have it red all the time or blue or whatever color it's that easy to customize this and i love the software it's so beautifully made i would want to keep it at blue but the opacity the minimum so you don't need to use this you can use this hardware button as well i also figured out how to use that uh, you press it once this is at five level uh, brightness of five four three two one zero then again goes back to five and uh, weirdly enough when i'm changing this hardware button here it's not changing anything here but i would still want to just do it through okay this is interesting when you do have that to zero on the hardware that is what is given preference so if i keep it at five in the software i can come and make it zero yes that works but it has to be at five here otherwise it won't work 
so yeah that is a nice thing lighting is figured in this keyboard assignments is figured so that was the biggest thing why am i not able to use alt tab what is wrong here small things i've learned okay this is interesting i learned one thing for notion inside notion if you press colon and this you get your options for emojis this is basically if you type anything here pray then that will come up so that's good thing inside notion and for premiere there are two ways of affecting audio volume inside premiere you can either adjust the levels inside the effects control tab this is basically up like a horizontal line moving across the clip it looks like kind of an adjustment layer even though the volume of the clip gets adjusted it's not hard coding data into the clip itself the second way my preferred one is to adjust the audio gain of the clip by pressing g that's that way you adjust the audio gain so that is actually changing the code the data of the clip audio clip itself so you're increasing or decreasing and in that i prefer because you can visually see the waveforms in a what is clipping or if everything is even or not okay that's very helpful another interesting thing is if you actually add pins by pressing p like we do for p ramps and stuff then you can add three pins and then one in the middle and at the point where which is clipping you can just take that down and a clipping will go away or you could just even add a constant gain just by using that clip thing if you don't want to add the effect which i would i don't know why you would but i'm trying to think of did i actually hit record for the first one like there is no way i can figure out while the recording is still on so it it can be that i just did not hit record for the first part anyway um bruh